Kind of yell. Your host Rogue. We're continuing playing the game. I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe. Share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're gonna see what we get. Show us the chance. For today, we need to modify our boat. We need to remove this. Remove our cheese rod. Volcanic, which I honestly want to do down here. You see, this says mangrove and coastal. Actually, I should be able to do both of these. That is... This looks nicer that way. So we should be able to... Go over here to the Twisted Strands. And do a bunch of stuff here.
tired of no 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 oh. It's still my fish, it's super annoying. You were one of the 
things I lost. Need to get a few of these just in case. Leadership here, I have to focus. There are pressures acting upon them. We must know where these creatures entered, where the blood placing the specimens into a large metal chamber before sealing the lid. A motor runs briefly in a pressure gauge on the chamber rises. The elder communicates in power. He flips the large switch, and the metal chamber begins to spin slowly at first, and accelerating until the whole thing is blurred. Needles etched into the graph paper. Transcribing the ascent of something scratched out at speed, a dark fluid rises from the tube connected to the chamber. Not yet, pure. We need more. Damn, deeper. Outside, the executive's talking to the boy. Mm. We're almost there. Give it another push. How much power can we give this? Uh. But I don't think we. I don't think we really should. The executive shoots the foreman a glance, disdain and dismissal. Of the muscles on his face. The foreman backs down to the <sighs> Let him withdraw the full powers. Machinery in the drill steps into overdrive, blurring the air, the sound of the gears turn. What's that noise? Serious, surely not with that thing here. The water, our lives are in danger. You want to keep drilling. <laughs> Get it done. The executive turns and walks away toward the office, leaving the foreman shaking his head. He's insane. What the hell are we doing? This drill, whatever down there, we shouldn't be disturbing. Hmm. Fisherman, you gotta help us. He don't listen to reason, but perhaps he'll listen to an operational setback. What do you have in mind? We can't shut down the drill ourselves, not without repercussions from the corporation following us for the rest of our lives. Ah. 
But if it happened to be damaged by a force of nature, force of the deed, we'd have no choice but to abandon our position. I know it sounds crazy, but if the defenses were to stop offering it suddenly, they'd leave the drill bar. Huh. Please, I would think about what you could do. Find us. Ulcer, pure. Devil's spine, the wrenches. Well, crab, volcano. Hades. We can do Hadeal, volcanic shallow. We should be able to. We need more crab pots. Actually. Ah! That's what we have here. Back to the science. We have the samples, because I want to take a picture of what is here. Have an idea. Perfect. Defensive. Defenses are operational, emitting a drone of sound, creating the ears. You walk to the perimeter tower. Once the electrical panels have been securely passed, you open the panel inside a bundle of cables traveling from the black box up to the heights of the tower. The black box of the network for a bunch of slots on the top, one of which has a module inserted in it, it's labeled Lee. But considering this is her invitation, perhaps a researcher and stellar base perhaps. to go back to Stellar Basin or the Devil Spire. The Devil Spire would be a better one to go to. Uh, ooh, hey, dolphins. I do want to go pick up some more nets. I see the green. Oh, no, it's a, no, it is a crew. Don't know if there's a fish. Remember, there's a fish in the particular person out here in the spot.
Scorpion, whatever that thing is. And that allows me to you know, listen to storage. Listen to storage.
taking damage here, but no reason. Devil's fine, the riches, where are they? I'm kind of curious of what's going to happen. The moment we submit this. Because... It's 
is like the last main area. With shocking speed, he rushes towards the table, grabbing at all the corpses. She at first did a black girl barely resembling the scientist, no longer meek and cowering, now a frightening visage of the scattered skin and sharp teeth. With a sickening crush, he bites down into the sea scorpion carcass, black liquid dripping from his mouth. His terrible head snaps up Lux's eyes with ears, a feral cry rises from his lungs, forming an accusatory scream. With freshly worn claws pointed in your direction, with limbs overcome by frantic spasms, he stumbles towards the nearest window, slowly at first and arriving with considerable speed. The aberrated form of the scientist crashed through the glass, diving beyond the deck of the platform down, hitting the water, then disappearing into the deep. Hey, no more scientists. Ah. No one else saw that. Ah. That is nuts to me. Alright, so we've done all of those. We're gonna go ahead. There's a crate over here, we'll grab it. Yeah, there's one crate. We're gonna go back into this mangrove area. See if we can find the treasure from the deep. sucks about this area is it's really hard to navigate. Who are you? Oh, you're a tenant. Can't do anything. Please don't you Mortar barrel. I don't need that.
block me off both ways. All of them. Explosives. This is where we need to blow. Can't use explosives. packages. Unless it used them both on that one. Really, really, I'm like 
está. Having the trolling man is just like very easy money. See campsite, some old fish are suspended on a spit over a fire that was never lit. A pile of fabric is gathered at the base of an orange tree. Spent rotting fish from the spit, the fire blow has been prepared, someone wants to left in a hurry. What you want to do? Check the bundle fabric. That's the rags, the base tree, somebody slept here, the rags are covered in bark chips. There are symbols carved on the tree trunk above. There are three distinct symbols. The first symbol. There's a book, symbol underneath the wave, and then an upward arrow. A cloud hangs over. Five unfamiliar symbols mark the corners of a pentagram. The shape of the person is lying in the center ahead. Upward set look symbol of the wave. Downward arrow point towards the butt. Down to the wave. There is nothing else to do. So we're looking for another thing to blow up. Don't. Package inside archives. Breeze, use explosives. Free crumbles the way.
Maybe that was us getting to it from the other side. Done, Hans. Place your hand. Not respond to touch. Picture the face of the oh. Found some parts. Cool. Out. While I'm working on assembling the mortar, you can start with the next day of plan. You may not know some of the contraptions the lagoons around here. They some of those traps for the mine suckers. We just need to lure them in there. Once they're in, you see I can fire on them with our new mortar, and that'll be the end of it. No more nightmare. Mark the location of the traps on your map. Got it? Understand, so what's next? You need to make three special baits from each of the combinations of the fish. Let's get the bait for the first one. First one to three threat fish from the area. Any of those. That's the second one. No fish for that either. Alright. Here. 
make me the eel too. Yeah, I'll mix these in, load them to a trap. Alright, let's go to the first one. Everybody, we're getting there. I hear all sorts of craziness behind me.
Battle the mind players. Alright, let's pull up Helm. Out of way. Out of way. But honestly, don't need this one. Aaron, talk about your trap. Where do I put the bait? I want to try to pick up I'm working on it. Alright. Need them. Alright, ready? Yeah. Can I zoom in a little bit? Of the water, small receptacle, load bait. Load in crap, probably should move this. I need to go talk. That is the best way 
exactly navigating this way. It blocks off the moment. Come on. There's the last. Cage, load bait. Nice. By the obliterated trap, corpse of the mine sucker. Press the carcasses it up. Thanks, Allison. Now we have all three corpses. And go to the left. Feature for to show you. Let's see it then. You hand the tower once the flesh of the airman. Some of them work in it, but you both know they couldn't have belonged to anything else. Puts out with a knife, testing the rubbery meat. He seems satisfied. <laughs> yes. One of the beasts, Parker Celeste. Hmm. More to go. Oh, you have more. You drop the flesh on the ground and gives you two slashes with a knife while this is over. I don't take care of it. One remains by my kind of hmm. Oh, you have one more. But the large bloody carcass from the airman has eyes so as to stick to life. He bends down, put his knife in the soft flesh. Falls away before his blade, revealing a glint of metal. With a sickening care, he rests it from where it was, embodying the flesh of the creature. It holds the lock, recognizing of the necklace, glistening in gore. <laughs> well, fisherman, some sort of fortune at last. This ought to cut the decent price of the right collector. Why don't you take it? Stands back in the corpse. The uh, the look that comes across his face. And now, well, that's it, I suppose. Huh. What would you do now? Can't say for sure, but I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but this would become some of a home to me. It doesn't feel right to leave my brothers here. I think I shall stay a while longer. In the meantime, we can make some special bait for you. It ought to be a lot of help with this. Alright. So, we can now necklace here.
Get out of the house carrying the ornate naked list. The collector recognizes it immediately. Excellent find. It demands the pride and place of my collection. He swoops aside some dusty table, candle wax pouring into corners, places the necklace carefully in the clearing. I suppose to be demanding recomposed as well. Once more he opens the book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You began to feel weak, but you are rooted to the spot, knees on the verge of suffering. A trophy, instantly hard and tired child fish. If you finish his speaking, you feel blood rush into your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're so close, one more remains. The love to suggest it, but the abyssal place to approach its devil's spine. It is likely a candidate to see what you can find. A markification on your map to begin your search. Anything else? Nothing. Peace. Alright, so we finished up the Twisted Strand, we got the Devil's Spine, but we also need to go down to the research. So we got to figure out how we can make things not So off we go. That's going north. We need to go. This one. We've got it most of all of our power we've been missing the one. Dude, that was a shark. Again, what do you need? About the defenses rig. Oh, I hope they work. Yes, they mm. work. Good. It's always nice to have additional data for it. Anything else about the defenses? <sighs> the workers of a rig. Oh, for their conscience, have they? I suppose they're wanting it to look like an accident. They wouldn't want to face the corpse wrath that they were found. Mm. Um, they do have a pleasing, elegant idea, actually. We don't have to sabotage the defenses in the traditional way. If you recall, they meant the word at the moment. They're broadcasting a warning fleet. <gasps> If we change that, I have other recordings of the words. Instead of a warning, it could broadcast an invitation. There's one in particular I've been referring to by its closest human analog is Rise. I'll prepare some blueprints for the model. You'll have to assemble it in the slot in the top layer of the black box. Anything else? Good. Wait. The... It feels like years since I've been warm. I do not expect him to write. I just know that's what he thinks of me from time to time. The next one has been smudged out. He must return. Mercury smudging follows. I have run another letter. It will be the last one. That's trying to look for. So, first the net. We found some cool stuff. We need pursuits. The iron rig. So, alright, I just have to go back to it. Honestly, it's so late, I should just stay. Come on. Undock. Catching all sorts of cool stuff. 
タートですね Creepy looking fish. fish in there. Take all that we can. Huh. Ah, yes, yes. Thank you. Dark canister, I do not have a dark canister. Then I make one with the empty. Model and insert the new one as the clicks in the plate, the sound from power changes to a deep rumble. Drill tower the executive board is held up in the party. Is everyone alright? All count on four for the factory. Uh huh, foundry stuff. It's way for airless out of here, though. There's no way I'm traveling anywhere back then. They all sit tight now, fishermen. The main buildings are mostly undamaged, so if you need any stuff, you can support it out. I believe that is legitimately all the pursuits for the iron rig. I think we are done with it. Ice 
And we've got a lot of stuff for the court pursuit still, but the overall stuff, I think we're pretty good. Ah. Hmm. Now, found me. Hmm. 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 Factory. I've already got hmm. all that. I do not mind another one of these. Hmm. <laughs> and all these baits. Hmm. This is... One of these and a crab trap. Get a regular crab trap. Yeah. Sucks is for ice fishing. I have to disassemble all of this. It could be faster, the barbed ice rod or the glacial land. So I think we have fun. Play the glacial land. and ocean. And that gets rid of my ability to do the shallow stuff. Or uh, volcanic and mangrove stuff. Breaker ready. Take off. Take off. Take off. And we are going way down. Here, did you did you throw it back? What? The fuck? You mistaken for someone else. I'm not feeling it. It's really you, isn't it? Are you okay? He turned away, really intense, speaking to the fire. It was him, him and his damned wife. They dredged up that old foot. But something, something close and far pulled it out. Right through the boat. Boom. The only man with explosion and motions wide in his hands. Still talking fire as of 
pantomiming and story to a child. He spoke. He said it's coming for our breath and that he wouldn't be needing it soon. And the darkness crashed down. An age later, some of us washed up ashore and him, still clutching his book. Throw it back to cry and the fog rolled ashore. So that surely it still can be undone. What book? book? Silver and crimson, the book covered in black. Did not oh. make any sense. Throw it back. Bang closed his eyes and he holds back tears. His voice still fell falls with her. Please, the White House keeper. She saw. She knows where it came from. Where it is, where it needs to go. Something more about the book. Silver and crimson, silver and crimson. Back and forth with it. Do you know about the fog? It croaks the calmest thing. It's evil. How do you felt it? What does the White House keeper have to do? She saw that all and you were saying, ask her Becker, tell her I goes off his face glass in the bar. Alright. We'll rest until morning just so we can see. As we finished up the Iron Rig, we'll work on our other DLC, the Big Southern Ice Pump. Ice Pump. Space entirely with any fish that you like. I mean, you get a lot of shrimp or prawns, which with Nehru's birthday coming up, we are going to Hibachi and we eat a bunch of crab and sushi and a bunch of other stuff. That's perfect. Now cut your engines. We need it to wait in complete silence. Ah. Like here's some under the ice. What on earth was that thing? I'm not sticking around to find out. The grabber is really packing equipment in the boxes. She seems to match. No, that was no regular narwhal. It seemed vicious and hyper aggressive. No, it's like that can be very unpredictable. These ice fields are safe with that thing around. You should consider mm. turning back. I'll be out as soon as I've packed my things away. It did seem hyper aggressive. And it is dark now, so it is super hard to see. to the doorway and old cabin still thin and behind it frozen over dicks up little toys in the breeze. Let's go to our storage. We'll throw you in here. And we start placing a bunch of fish. Cabin. You enter a small cabin and the door 
hung long since fallen from its hinges, a writing table sits inside. Clearly draw a map of the area as charted on the paper. You attach it to your own map. Large book sits on the table, well worn from the passage time, but you can read it. Captain's log etched on the cover. You open the book, it's frozen spine crackling the first time in decades. Which entry do you read? The 30th of May, 1847. Arrived on the floating sea ice amidst particularly thick fog. Two channels can be seen landing, leading into the ice through a sizable chunk to float our way, posing a hazard. I have ordered us to moor against the outer ice wall, while the engineers make adjustments to better prepare the vessel. 1st of June, 1847. The vessel is pursued by a particularly aggressive narwhal. Some men placed fish on ice nearby and attempt to distract it. Here to work, but only for a time. It resurfaced and nearly saturated at tailing repeatedly. We can't find a more permanent solution to the beast, and we'll have to make sure to keep enough fish on hand to placate it. Hit the gym. As I had fallen asleep, the most mighty voice spoke onto me. It resounded thick ice below. At once below. Oh, both powerful and ethereal. No mistaken, as thick as the wind, nor as just as the crew. Do not pause as a response acknowledgement, but a whispered, crisp, cryptic prophecy. At first, that makes sense, but three listeners shall hear the heart. And I indulged these listeners. It spoke boundless wealth from the stars and the eyes opening unto the world. The rest of the sheep feverishly in my mind was plagued by the sound and voice. It spun head echoing even louder. In the morning, the boat swan and the navigator came to me separately, claiming to hear a voice that sounded like a heartbeat as the men were digging yesterday. They indicated a desire to explore the eastern and western reaches of the ice field. I shall indulge them. All of it. I shall. Light pierces through the ice, intensely concealing the glow of the sun. The dark form takes the shape against the light, placing the ear to the ice. So, the distorted voice echoes from within. Don't disturb the ice. Who are you? The captain. The expedition. The chart of the ice from the period seven through the ice. Battle of the tent. What happened? It whispered, promised, stones from the stars. It knew three would hear the heart beneath the ice. The voice of the grew louder. It commanded three listeners, three sacrifices for three eyes. I obey, but a fourth now sees forever people. The shadow is silent for a time. Lumbering still should leave this season before it whispers. Break the eyes. Do not risk breaking its senses through the eyes. Through the shadows, no hope. I do not have whatever that is. No. Actually, read up. Wait until morning, because I can't see a thing. Now, okay, we can actually see some central camp. There's a few different areas to go. Seems like someone built the feeding station for that normal. this thing again. No more fish will fit under the pot. The 
I should keep it satisfied at least for a little while. Locked against a small platform the highest form around a gigantic clawed hand. We're not the first to find this place room that's a long abandoned camp later than this. Present equipment. There are various pieces of clear remain. Whoever made this camp is poorly prepared. Inside a small bag you find a leather bound journal, which entered you in the rain. 4th of June, 1847. The man spent the whole day digging. They passed up chunks of ice, some of brilliant as crystal. Others was deep blue and more beautiful than sapphires, but none of them helped the glow we had seen in the night. However, I did note a disturbance from the ice to the west. It began as a periodic distant rumble. The men dug deeper, the pulsating, quickening, strengthening until I could see the ice shifting in the surface. I shall inform the captain, it may be the normal creature we saw earlier, but this did seem much larger. As I write this, I can already feel the ice closing, and we'll have to wait until morning. June 7th, 1847. This morning, Captain peered out of the fog, rowing alone. Apparently, the boats gone and remained at the camp in the east, awaiting nightfall. We we're unsuccessful in research, but it does make sense that the lights be more visible at night. Tomorrow, we'll journey together to the west towards the shipping lines that are recorded. Entry view on the June 8th. We are alone in the small island lights. After hours rowing through narrow channels that rose in the fog, we draw your gantro and monstrous cloud reaching from the deep. Whatever creature it belonged to must be long dead as the claw is frozen solid. I waited to turn back and I wanted to turn back immediately, but the captain insisted to investigate. He's on edge, his head turning this way and that. Listening to the slightest sound, he is convinced something will happen after dark. The last light from the cold sun fades. The sense that it will be a long night. That'll be it. I shot it. A natural spire of ice, they have boats, grabs the snow over equipment. A dark shape twists within the face of gear. Twist still got distant and distorted. Trap forever. This prison, get me out. Break it somehow. Free me. Who are you? The navigator, find safe passage, chart the ice. It came from beyond. Break it somehow. Free me. What happened? The digging, the cracked ice, like a web, awoke the ice hearts. I told him, whispers to the west, took the boat swung east, returned alone. Dark figure gutters, seeing vibration lights. The next day, rode here, the captain, with all the claws, running my soul, gripped my soul, he insisted to make camp, down of the beast, waiting for the stars in the night, I saw his shape. Suddenly, swallowed by the cold and the dark, he left me. Break it somehow. Break eyes, the cold on. We don't have what's needed. Where do you We're actually in a dangerous situation because we don't have at all what we need to break the ice. Babies. We need some more fish. I have a very big feeling that we are. Why am I hearing heartbeats? There's no way to 
go then. Let the lust from burying black and simple pain. Hear a heartbeat again. Even fish are probably attracts. So we are desperately running out of fish. No more fish will fit on the pile. Keep it satisfied at least for a little while. But we do need a fish. If I didn't already come with fish. I don't know if we would have had enough fish feeding the narwhal like we have been. We'll come back because we have to fish this thing. Another makeshift campsite perked in the shadow of a frozen claw hand. Someone was seeking these out. You rummage with a small pile of equipment in the snow. Most items are stuck out of ice, but inside is a small backpack you find in old journal, which entered you in the read. 2nd June 1947. The captain orders to make camp on the ice in the center of the lagoon. After we saw the lights of the ice, everyone got pressure on the mind. The treasure hunting and exactly the expedition was commissioned for him, but that gave the captain the iron share of whatever we find. It doesn't surprise me that he's willing to bend the rules a bit. We've been digging after the camp's done, which introduced the marine. Throughout the June, spent the day digging into the ice. Shovels, ice picks, can't remember the last time that this tire. We were only allowed two sheet or two short breaks all day. Down in the pit, the rest of my back against the ice, I started hearing something. Is different as the sounds of the picks they were were in sharp. This was low, rubble deep down. My first break is occasional, only a few each minute, and the second break is quick and like a heartbeat. Entry do you want to read? You're in the pit. The captain overheard me telling the others about the sound I heard in the pit. Where I knew it was at the end of his desk. Here I was about to have my pay dot. To my great surprise, he seemed to know something about it already. He was keen on hearing it described over and over. He wants me to help locate the source of it. When we pressed further, I said I'd, that it did seem to have been coming from the east. Tomorrow we'll send it off to see if we can find it. Perhaps I shall get a bonus after this is done. Ice shard. An unnatural spire of ice above the scrapes of snow covered glimmer. A dark shaped twisted glimmer. It's near. Anguished voice cries from deep in the ice. Help me. Frozen, so many years, free me, please break the ice. Who are you? I was, I am, the boss one, the expedition, the terror. Please break the ice. What happened? The figure contorts painful shapes. We saw light dancing in the ice, deep, rubbed deep, didn't know, I heard it. The heart beating under the ice, cracking, waking, the noises to the east. I went, 
The captain brought him here to find it, a hand in the night. Shadow of claws. The darkness shrinks. I turned away just at the moment. The pain. The claws. My back so cold and so dark. Under the ice. Please break the ice. Silence. Yeah, we don't have what's needed. Please break the ice. Please. Best of luck. We don't have anything to break the ice. Alright, so from here, we really need to close and move our way out of here. Alright, so we can't get that piece. The icy mm. water site. For an icebreaker, we need these parts. I can't tell. What is what? Oh. That's everything. Let me warm my hands a little and then we'll get started. I think that's it. The front of your ship can now break through chunks of ice. Go ahead and test that. I'll be watching from here. Please. Oh. No. How much the fish actually wants to sell though? I forgot to mention, just let me know if you want to temporarily remove that ice blocker. I can swap it out with any of my platoons. Mm. I think we are good on all of that. And I want to go see how the icebreaker works, so we are gonna. Kind of cool. Go right through it. Like butter. First ace pick. Oh, oh, that's not good. 
That allows us to leave the area. And this inspire of ice transfers a dark repulsive glow rises from the deep, laying a core socket. Thank you.